because you're not. Yeah, you are. You're on because you might get a little bit of upset. It's a little bit. Don't no, you're not snotty. <laughs> you're not snotty. Look at your little boot in the air. Do you have a good morning? The moment we started dating, we didn't fall in love, but intentionally walked into it. I grew in love with your beautiful ability to connect with people. From things as simple as raving about the kindness of a stranger, ranting about how cool your sister Shannon is, <laughs> your selflessness with Surrey, or something as large as making me feel instantly comfortable enough to discuss my brother with you. To this day, I'm still surprised by your amazing sense of empathy, and I continue to find it more and more endearing. At the same time, <laughs> I grew in love with your, with your ability to be the gentle reminder that I didn't know I needed. I want you to never stop calling me out on biases, telling me when I'm not seeing the other side, or grill me on the finer details of my book reviews. Keep asking me to self-reflect in a way that nobody else but you can, because I value your thoughts more than anyone else. Don't fall asleep. Don't wake up. I can honestly say the day we first met, I did not think would be the same day that I met my future husband. I went into that date mentally prepared for it to go nowhere, but it led me to you. And you turned out to be one of the best things that happened to me. The first time we spoke on that date I expected nothing from, it was so easy and so natural. The connection was instant for me. You were unlike anyone I had ever met. Being with you, I've learned to be more patient, to allow you that extra 30 to 60 seconds to choose the right words. I've learned to be more gentle and to relax a little bit. I've learned to, that I'm always safe and protected with you. I don't need to have any doubts or insecurities or fears. The world is a way less scary place with you by my side. Now, for those of you who do not know, Sam and Becca met in this magical place called the World Wide Web. <laughs> when I asked Becca, why Sam? What made you swipe right? Her exact words, I don't know. His profile wasn't that impressive and his photos were very bad. <laughs> By Becca's own admission, she didn't put a lot of stock into this first date. Or as Sam described it, she picked a crappy no-name bar so she didn't have to ruin one of her favorite places if I sucked. <laughs> if you've ever met a Grady, you will know that there is no yours and mine. Everything is ours. That apparently is not how things go down in the Evans home. <laughs> Or as Sam put it, you don't ask if anyone can have your food because the answer is always no. 
Good thing Becca didn't ask. She just dove in. I've waited all my life just to spend all my life with you. Then take your time and take mine too. I've waited all my life for you. All my life just to spend all Yeah, take your time and take my two. I've waited.